What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. Newsflash. Newsflash to all my nurses, young and seasoned. All of my nurses just starting. All of my nurses who have been doing this a while. Newsflash. You are not always going to love this job. Someone like me, I don't always, I don't wear rose-colored glasses. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, these aren't rose-colored. I do not wear rose-colored glasses. I am well aware of how bad our job can get. How much it can suck. How badly it can step on your neck on a daily basis, shift after shift, week after week, beaten down by one entity or another. It's okay. It's absolutely okay. It's absolutely a normal human response that you get tired of getting shit on. I get it. I really do. Longevity in this profession boils down to one single solitary concept one thought one fact you need to be okay with not being okay if you can accept that you can swallow that you can chew on it and be and and move on to the next moment the next shift the next day week month whatever you're going to be fine because you will not always be able to paint the smile. You will not always be able to have the positive attitude. You are going to have weak moments. You are going to have outright crappy days that make you go home and question whether or not becoming a nurse was the smart decision. Question whether or not, am I going to continue doing this? I'm not a golfer. I tried golfing. I sucked at it royally. I think I had a momentary lapse for a while and I actually was okay at it. But 99% of the time, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I played golf. I swung a golf club like I swung a baseball bat. And that just isn't very successful in that, in that particular sport. But nursing is like golf. Everybody hates golf. Everything about it stinks because you always chip it this way, send it that way, won't go down the, 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 the fairway, into a gutter, into a sand trap. There's always something about golfing, the actual sport itself, that you hate. You show up, you do your best, and you're never happy with it. It's always something about the sport, something about that 18 holes, 9 holes, there's always something that just gets under your skin. It's like, God, God, ah! Then there's that one moment. Then there's that one moment you hit the perfect ball. You hit the perfect drive. And it makes that tink sound. Now, for those of you who don't golf, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You're just going to have to go with me on this one. But you hit the ball square perfect swing you hear that you hear that distinct sound that, that the ball and the club make it's a tink second right it's a tinky tink tink sound and the ball just travels like it grew a set of wings and it goes so far that you you, you lose sight of it it's that one moment that you drink in the adrenaline and you're like oh my God, this is the greatest sport ever. That's how nursing is. You're going to have 99 moments that are just like, seriously, can this get any worse? Beat me down day after day, shift after shift, crappy thing after crappy thing. And then there's that moment. You meet that one patient, that coworker, that incident. You make that save. You impact that life. Somebody comes up to you and tells you that you made a difference in their life. You saved my life. You saved my mom's life. My father 
is doing better because of what you did for them. That's the moment. That's the moment when it matters. That's the moment when all of the crap that you go through is worth it. And maybe I'm making it up because I'm biased, because I absolutely love this profession, because it's given me so much. Maybe, yeah, maybe. This could be mildly rose-colored, but just like you, I have a lot of shifts that just are shitty. Just, you know, you come home completely, utterly, emotionally, and physically exhausted, and then you show up, and then without any warning, that moment happens. You get smacked dead in the face with such positivity that that warm feeling comes over your body and it just hits you in the heartstrings and you realize why not everybody can do this job and that you truly are one of the angels that walks the earth because you put up with so much crap because you know what you do matters what you do impacts lives we can't we we have a hard time expressing that to the non-nurses that non-nurses just don't get it. They really don't. You can try to express just how utterly exhausting it is and how crappy it can be. But then there's that moment, that one moment, that makes it all worth it. And the longer you do this job, the more, more of those moments you will have. If after those moments, that moment happens and you don't have that feeling, then yeah. Maybe this job isn't for you. And that's okay too. Because not everybody can do this job. You have to be okay with all of that. Be okay with not being okay. I'm here to tell you it's okay to not be okay. Because I'm not always okay. It takes me a while sometimes. But you learn how to... You learn how to ride the wave for the next great moment. You should not live your life in the gutter. You should not live your life in complete misery. But, I am here to tell you that I'm here to tell you that it's worth it. It's been worth it for me for over a decade. And I plan on doing this for a couple more decades. If my body will let me. It's absolutely okay to not be okay. Curious what you have to say. Let me know what your thoughts are on not being okay. And you don't always have to be super Mr. or Mrs. Positive. You can have low moments. It's those... Magical moments that make the difference for me. What about you? Leave your comment down below. You know your comments are McAfee. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.